you will learn ERP next integration module so let's begin in this module we will see the its features and configuration part ERP next integration it's there are out of the box integration available to be used along with your ERP next set up the connection between your ERP next site and your e-commerce site also payment gateways and more benefit from the synchronization drop back backup ERP next always recommend customer to maintain a backup of their data in ERP next the database backup is downloaded in the form of an SQL file. If needed, this SQL file of backup can be restored in another ERP Next account as well. So in this video tutorial, we will see how we can set up a Dropbox setup through the ERP Next application. Also, we will see how we can integrate the Google Drive and you will see how we can authorize the Google Drive access to your account. WooCommerce integration also we will check how we can set up the WooCommerce integration with the ERPNX system. This is the steps we will we are going to follow with the WooCommerce settings. So let's go to the our ERP Next application. Here I already opened my web browser. I have entered in my username and password in, in the login form. And now we are going to log into ERP Next application. Here when you logged in, you will be landed on a home doc type or a home page of ERP Next application where you can see the shortcuts of Atom Master, Customer Master, Supplier Master, Sale Invoice. Then under the Notes of Reports and Master, you will get the access of some of the reports and some of the Accounting Master, then uh, Data Import and Setting Masters, Stock Master, and you will see the atoms under the node of stocks atoms warehouse brand unit of major master and stock reconciliation under the node of data import and setting you will you will get the data import facility also you can add the opening balances and the closing balances of your application so you can import your chart of account from the your financial books and under the node of accounting module you can get the access of or you can get the functional access of chart of accounts company master customer master and supplier master on your left hand side you will see the module navigation bar and on this you can get the list of all modules like home module help desk accounting, buying, selling, stock, HR, manufacturing, quality, CRM, projects, supports, user, website, loan, payroll, build, tools, ERP next setting, integration, and ERP next integration. This is, these are the modules available in ERP next application where you can get the access of all these modules and may you you may get the access of these all these modules according to your business needs today's topic is erp next integration so we will check on this this module so for that we need to go to erp next integration and you will be landed on erp next integration doc type where you can see the integration under the node of integration master here under the node of backup you will get the dropbox settings option also s3 backup settings and google drive setting as well in authentication you can 
add social logins, LDAP settings, authentication client, authentication provider settings as well. Under the node of payment gateway, you can get the payment gateways of Go Cardless settings, M-Pesa settings, and PayLate, PayLate settings as well. Also, if you want to connect your web web commerce or e-commerce settings, then WooCommerce setting is available. Here you can set your WooCommerce account with ERP Next application. Under Google services, you can get all Google services, Google settings, Google contact, Google calendar, and Google drive. And communication channel, if you see webhook is there, SMS settings here there, and Slack webhook URL facility is available. So we will go one by one and we will see the settings uh, uh, settings for in details. But we will just get the overview of these settings because if you want to do practical, then you require all the desired login details for the same. So first of all, we will get the backup option and we are going to Dropbox settings. In this Dropbox settings, you see that a uh, send notification to option first of all first you need to enter the proper email address on which address you want the notification must to go so here you can enter a email address for after successful backup generated and to this particular email address the notification will be gone through then below in a backup frequency you need to set a backup frequency if you wish to get the backup on daily basis then daily basis backup will get generated and notification goes to after successful completion of backup notification goes to particular email address on daily basis if you want a frequency of weekly basis then weekly basis of backup will be generated here also you can limit the number of db backups by activating this flag and backup file option now he if you check this backup file option it will generate the backup file backup file and it will be get based on the frequency which you already set under the backup frequency option and here app access key login credential detail here you need to enter your username and password for the backup dropbox backup access for the authentication these these are the settings of dropbox option once you set all these and if you allow a dropbox access then you need the erp next system will take you to the backup option if the backup dropbox access configuration or it's not done properly then you will get this kind of server error so before starting activity you need to create a dropbox account and you need to get the access key from the dropbox so this is the way you are doing a dropbox setting go back to integration also in a similar manner you can set s3 backup settings here if you want to enable automatic backup then you can check this flag for the automatic backup with s3 backup settings and you need to save this setting and then erp next application will take care to generate automatic backup of your database then you can set a google drive if you want to use a google drive then you need to enable this once you enable this then you need to give the backup folder name then again it's a frequency and the similar manner you need to set the email for the notification and you need to authorize a uh, drive google drive access for this all these settings you need to set uh, you need to integrate before that you must have a 
authorize Google Drive access or authorize Dropbox access to for the integration purpose. So this is the way you can integrate your backup backup file restoration integration with Dropbox, Google Drive or S3. Go back to integration and now we will check the other Google services like Google settings, Google contacts and calendar. First of all, we will go through the Google settings. Each and every Google setting you need to enable first. If you enable this, then client ID and password will get, get fetched automatically. And here, if you generated the Google settings API key or secret key, then you need to define that API key over here. And if you enable the Google Drive picker, enable, then it will automatically pick that API key automatically from the Google Drive itself. So this is the simplest way to integrate your Google settings and other Google services. Also for the Google contacts, you can add Google contacts directly, but before that you need to integrate and you need to get a proper access and API keys, which has to be integrated with ERP next application. Once you can complete this Google key integration, then you can access automatically all the things from the Google services like Google contacts and Google calendar as and Google drive as well. So if you open the Google calendar, you can add the Google calendar as well. By default, Google Calendar is enabled. Now here you can enter your Google Calendar name and then you need to define the user who, who user is able to access that Google Calendar facility. And also you can synchronize your Google Calendar pull and push synchronization uh, to from Google Calendar to ERPNX application. That means whenever you can add an event or you can add a task on Google Calendar, that task can be pushed from Google Calendar and pulled from Google Calendar, which will be added in our to-do list or in our calendar event automatically in the ERP Next application. So this is the facility. This is the way you can integrate your Google Calendar to ERP Next application. Back to integration also, similar manner you can connect your google drive here also you can set a backup folder name name and you can give the frequency on what basis you want to generate the backup again you need to enter an email address when we see at the dropbox and uh, s3 as well so in that same manner, you need to set a email address for the notification and you can get authorized from the Google Drive access to the backup folder. So all these uh, Google Drive and Dropbox and uh, to get the access, you need a proper uh, API keys before, before in doing the integration, you need to get registered with these service providers and you need to get a API key from them. So now in a, another settings, we also check a webhook settings. Here you can add a webhook and before that you need to give the naming document series and if, if you need to enter a doc event, it's after insert, on update, on submit, on cancellation, or uh, whatever the uh, event you are going to click or you are going to execute on that event, on that event basis, you need to get a webhook notification or if, if you need to send a webhook notification. For example, if I want after insert a new record or after insert or to, on submitting of the new record to my doc type employee, Suppose if I created a em new employee record, then I will send a message to, uh, then I will uh, trigger a message, webhook, webhook message trigger 
automatically here I need to put a condition in a the example given in condition and then on submit event when I'm clicking a submit button for the final confirmation of the employee master then this webbook will trigger a message to the concerned department or concerned person to whom I am sending a request and I will post the field names, keys and whatever the data I have set under the data table along with that data the notification rules would be gone to that particular uh, emails to whom I am going to trigger out this message. So this way you can configure your uh, webbook messaging settings. Also you can set your SMS settings as well. Here first of all you need to uh, provide SMS gateway URL and in a static parameter table you need to add parameter and its value. Also message parameter can be set over here and receiver parameter also you need to set to whom you need to send SMS. So this is the way you can integrate and configuration your SMS settings. Now come back to the integration and if you want to connect if you want to connect uh, your social account so you can authenticate your social login keys over here here you can select the social service provider name whether it is a facebook whether it is a github google office 365 salesforce or fair login and then you need to set a client id and if you want some icon then you can set icon or you need to provide a base URL of your social service provider. Also from the client URL you need authorized URL and for that you need to uh, generate a login key or any uh, API keys, uh, API token URL for a social login credential. Here these are the settings here in a under client URL you need to set the uh, access token URL and API endpoint URL as well and also redirect URL you need to mention. So once you done these settings then your social login will be generated automatically and you can integrate your social logins with any social service social login service provider. So this way you can integrate your ERP next application with the third party uh, service providers. So thank you.